Today, some of the biggest names in U.S. politics traveled to Buckhead to say goodbye to former U.S. Senator Johnny Isaacson. The popular Georgia Republican died in late December after deciding uh, to dedicate more than 40 decades of his, excuse me, more than four decades of his life to public service. Doug Richards, live for us in Buckhead at Peachtree Road United Methodist Church. Yeah, John, uh, mourners remembered uh, Republican Johnny Isaacson as uh, one of those really rare politicians whose uh, human qualities broadened his appeal across party lines. It took two buses to deliver the members of Congress who traveled from Washington to remember Johnny Isaacson, including Republican Senate leader Mitch McConnell, who delivered a eulogy for the senator from Marietta, talking about what he called the Johnny Isaacson fan club. Now, we all know this is a polarized time. Unity is in short supply. But the gigantic and diverse Johnny Isaacson fan club has never failed to pack a room. Isaacson served in both houses of the U.S. Congress as well as both houses of the Georgia legislature, a trailblazing Republican in a state he gently helped to transform politically. And we had a, 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 a great relationship. We had one that it was very mutual and uh, one that we understood our political differences, but at the same time, we were able to uh, garner and continue that support. Wow. What a spectacular career. Former U.S. Senator Saxby Chambliss served with Isaacson in Congress and was also friends with him in college at the University of Georgia. I don't know what St. Peter has in the way of protocols, but I can tell you, next Monday night, Johnny is going to be watching the dogs <laughs> wear out Alabama. Johnny Isaacson was the epitome of a statesman. We owe a debt of gratitude to the Isaacson family for sharing him with all of us. He was top notch. Johnny Isaacson told the truth. He played by the rules. He treated everybody with respect and unfailing kindness. McConnell told a story about Isaacson, who had been trying to lobby McConnell on some issue that he wanted to get through the Senate and McConnell wasn't really hearing about it. And so one day in his office, he heard peals of laughter from his staff and he looked up and he saw Johnny Isaacson in his office trying to go around McConnell to get the staff to get McConnell to help Isaacson on the issue. And um, McConnell said uh, that was just one of the incidents that uh, showed how Johnny Isaacson's human qualities really helped him in his public life. Back to you. A lot of reflections today, Doug, thank you. Georgia U.S. Senator Reverend Raphael Warnock also honoring the late senator's life and legacy, that lifetime of public service. You can see much more right now on 11alive.com.